In this video we're going to show you how to set up a Roku 3. First we're going to list each step, then we're going to show you how to perform each step. The first step in hooking the Roku up is you want to hook it up to your flat screen high definition TV. So you're going to need to get an HDMI cable. This does not come with the Roku. Okay, take your Roku. There's the HDMI jack, your HDMI cable. Just slip it in like that. Look at the connections on the back of your TV. Locate an available HDMI input. Plug the other end of that HDMI cable right there. Now an alternative co connection method would be if you have a surround sound receiver or a home theater receiver or an AVR, they're, they're all the same thing basically, plug this HDMI cable into the back of your AVR and then your AVR is plugged into the back of your TV. Right, next step, take the remote and put the batteries in it. It's a pair of AA batteries. The batteries are supplied in the package. So The next thing is we want to power up the Roku. It's your power supply that comes with it. We're going to plug it into a wall receptacle and the other end into the Roku. Plug this end into the Roku. Set that to the side. And plug this into a, an electrical receptacle. We're going to turn the television on. Using the source button on the TV remote, we're going to locate the HDMI input. You want to select your language. And then you want to connect to your network. Now, if you have a Wi-Fi network, you can put in your Wi-Fi username and your Wi-Fi password. If you happen to have a uh, router close by, you can plug in your Roku to the router. I'll show you how to do that real quick. If you have your router nearby, you can use an Ethernet patch cord, a Cat5 patch cord like this, and just plug it into this jack. Now the other end of this wire is not plugged into the router because I don't have the router close by. This would be an easier way for you to get the Roku onto the Internet because you don't have to enter your internet username and your internet password. But if you don't happen to have this handy, then you want to put in those Wi-Fi credentials. I select the wireless Wi-Fi connection. Let's move that camera a little closer. Now it lists my Wi-Fi name and I'm going to select that by hitting the OK button on the remote. And then I'm going to put in my password. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill in my name and set up this account. Now there's a code that was on the TV screen. We need to enter that here. Alright, looks like our setup of the actual streaming device is ready. I'm going to select OK. And there we have it. We're ready to go.